Hi everybody, it's Deb from D&D Art Gallery. Hope you're all doing well today. Today I have a different type canvas. First time using this and I've got it from Jerry's Artorama. And it is called a Da Vinci Liquid Art Panel Gessoed Panel. And it has a lip that comes up all the way around about an eighth of an inch. And I have taped that lip. This is a gessoed panel. It's not like regular canvas. And on the back also, you can see I taped it all up. This is made, this canvas is made for liquid, liquid art, um, resin, alcohol ink. So I'm going to give it a try here. And what I'm going to do is a waterfall pour of sorts. I am just going to um, put the paint down, starting at the side and just bringing it down the canvas and then tipping it all over the canvas. Let's go over my paints here. I am not going to put down a base coat unless I need extra paint. This canvas size is a um, 16 by 16. So I calculated that out. What I did is I took 16 times 16, took that sum and divided it by 28 and it was nine point something. So I rounded it up to 10 ounces of paint I would need to cover this gessoed panel. I have poured my paints already. There they are and let's go over them. My first paint is DecoArt Metallics Copper. Very pretty color. My second paint is Rust-Oleum Metallic Accents Rich Brown. My third paint is Folk Art Treasure Gold, the Rose Gold. I'm going with metallics here today. My next paint is the Golden Fluid Acrylics Iridescent Pearl Fine. My next color is Rust-Oleum Metallic Accents Ruby. And then what I did also is I made a lighter, almost a pink color, where I combined the Ruby with Amsterdam acrylic titanium white. Just lightened it up a little bit. And my base coat is a combination of the Rust-Oleum Metallic Accents Champagne. And, and I lightened it up a little bit with the Meta Rust-Oleum Metallic Accents White Pearl. A combination of those two. Okay? But like I said, I'm not going to add that base coat unless I need extra paint. I do have it mixed up in my cup here. And I will show you consistency of my paints. You can see that. Just leaves a little trace and then disappears. Okay, so let's get started with putting the paint down. Like I said, this is the first time using this type of uh, gessoed board here with the lip. And I didn't want to put too much paint on the canvas because I didn't want it to really flow over that lip that much. So that's why I'm doing the type of pour that I'm doing right now. But if needed, I will add some of that champagne and the, the white. And if this works out really well, dry, I will show this uh, painting down the road after it's dried. This would work very well if you're planning on um, using resin because it will catch your resin on your edges. And the reason I taped it is this is actually wood here 
and then after it's all dry I'll take that off and you can actually make it look like a frame like you could paint it black or white or just you know stain it with some wood stain I'm gonna torch here a minute And I'll start tipping now, and I'm going to try and tip slow. This is all experimental. I'm hoping to get the get this uh, panel covered here without too much too much of an issue. And it may run over, that's okay, because I do have it taped. Let's try and get that corner. And then bring it back. Again, I bought this at Jerry's Artorama, and I will put that in my description if you would be interested in purchasing some of these panels. I bought four different sizes. And this is like the third largest size I bought, I believe. I bought a 12 by 12, 12 by 16, and I think this is the 16 by 16, and then I, I did buy a 16 by 24, something like that, a larger one. And if I feel I have too much paint on here, I will run it over. And now I'm just going to take and run it all over the canvas just to mix it up a little bit. Hopefully you can see that happening. Very pretty results so, so far. And I think I will run just some of the paint off of this. This ends over here. Because I, I feel like I have just a little bit too much paint on here. When I actually mixed my paint up, it did call for 10 ounces, but I did mix more like 11 ounces. Now, if you did want your, your lip to look the same as your painting, you wouldn't have to tape it. really liking this so far very pretty okay i'm just going to look at the composition of this now And I think I may torch it again.
and I think I will run some more paint off this end down here. just to stretch my paint out a little bit more. Okay, and now I will bring it back. And I did not need a base coat at all. I can see that. Okay, I'll take another look now. I'm just cleaning this edge off so you can all see where this lip is. Okay, and I'm going to um, torch one more time here. Very, very pretty. Got a little bit of lacing in it. Lines are beautiful. The metallics are very, very nice in this painting. Going to tip it a little bit this way and then back again. Okay. And I think that this would be composition. This would be the top, this would be the bottom. I see some more air bubbles. I'm just going to give another quick torch and then I'll get you down for a close up. You can tell me what you think. talk about my pouring medium here too I forgot about that um, it's my usual today it's um, two parts Floetrol one part paint I did put a squirt of GAC 800 in and then Liquitex gloss medium so now I'll get you down for a close-up you can tell me what you think Okay, everybody, here we are for our close-up, and this is the upper left-hand corner. And I will take you down the left-hand side. These colors played so well with each other. The copper, that dark brown, the ruby, the pink, and that little bit of white in there. So pretty. And this is the lower left hand corner and I will take you up the middle so pretty in here little bit of lacing there you can really see a lot of the shimmer all my paints today were metallic that's why we're getting such a nice beautiful shimmer here very pretty in here This is the upper right hand corner. And I'll take you down the right side. And again, this, oh, it's very beautiful in here. I will uh, make sure and post in a couple of weeks after this is totally dry, the results and how I did like this canvas, if everything went well. And this is the lower right hand corner. So let me know what you think. Give me a thumbs up if you like this video and share it. Make sure you ring the bell, choose all, and subscribe if you haven't.
that would be great. And until next time, take care, everybody. Bye for now.